being an instructor is a very demanding position. It's a lot of work, but it's extremely rewarding. It's definitely been the most rewarding position I've had in my Air Force career. My very first flight, uh, I'll never forget being at their commissioning ceremony, and a few of them asked me to commission them, and I wasn't expecting that. Naturally, you know, I was their instructor, so they wanted to ask me to commission them, so that was a moment that I'll never forget. On top of that, it was a blessing to be able to meet their family and friends that supported them through this process. If you like fast-paced, ever-changing work environment, it's definitely for you. We're up at 4 a.m. to go run around the base with them, which is an early morning, but those days our leadership really does try to take good care of us. Uh, the squadron morale itself is pretty great because you think of having a squadron of 20, 30 captains. There's always something to do, always someone to hang out with. So personally, I think it's been a blessing to have so many different peers from different career fields, different backgrounds, different areas of the country to come together and get to build relationships with them has been really great. Immediately, OTS is like a family and we're pretty close-knit. It's kind of one of those situations almost when you're deployed. It's one of those environments and missions that, that drives a team together. And so I definitely feel that across the OTS staff. The majority of students come through and they're in it to win it, hit the ground running. There's a subset and that's the, that's the subset I keep my eye on, the subset that might be wanting to check a box. So when I see that subset, when I see their demeanor change, when I bridge that gap from why are we marching why are we doing these events, exercises in the field? How do they relate to the profession they're going in? Uh, when I can make the exercise resonate with the why and I see their demeanor change and I see that true intrinsic buy-in, that's when I know we're doing something right and it's rewarding. There's a quote by Jack Black in the School of Rock that if you can't do it anymore, then you have to teach. And if you can't teach, you teach gym. But it's not really true. You learn it twice when you have to teach it and some people say you're repainted blue going to an OTS or SOS or ACS or something like that. And I feel like I have been painted blue many times over because going through these lessons and applying them, it really teaches you the benefits of leadership, communication, good organization, feedback, airmanship, self-awareness, all these lessons that we teach to the OTs. I really learn them over and over again myself. In fact, about a month ago, I chose to extend. I had two year assignments and I chose to extend to a third year for a couple of reasons, because my wife likes it. My daughter's enjoying the school she's in. We have a nice house and a nice neighborhood. And so I extend a third year and I can help pull more weight on the OTS 5J. If you think back to your BMT days or if you're Academy or ROTC or OTS and you remember your instructor from those days, we have that kind of direct impact on all these new officers and it's, it's a cool job.